Yeah, you heard me. Everyone on the internet is a loser. We all know it. We're all guilty of it sometimes. Uh, occasionally I'll get this uh, kind of question where people are like, Hey Luke, love your videos on, I don't know, whatever it is, doesn't matter. It could be Linux, could be religion, could be, I don't know, lifestyle. Uh, people say, love your videos. Where can I find cool like-minded people on the internet? Okay. Uh, what's a cool uh, chat server? What's a cool web form? What's a cool blah, 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 blah. Um, and the, I, I never can give an answer to that because the reality is, um, there are none. Like the, the segment of people uh, who use the internet, like regularly as a, a, like daily thing, like they constantly have a chat window pulled up or they're in their discord server where they can talk about furry stuff or whatever. Um, those kind of people are just not ever the kind of people you want to be interacting with. Okay, maybe you know some cool boomer who's still still using IRC and he's like uh, tethered to the real world. But in general, and we all know this, I, I think everyone kind of acknowledges this. There's a sense in which, like, if you're looking for based people on the internet, cool. Oh wow, I want to I want to hear what uh, cool people are saying. Like, who that are gonna even who are gonna improve my view on life. You are just not gonna find that on the internet. You're it's just not gonna happen. Because, I mean, maybe you'll find bits and pieces of it, but uh, the, the truth is, um, well-adjusted people, they're living in real life, okay? Everyone uses the internet a little bit, um, but if you're looking for, like, a lot of people, um, they, they want, like, they put, prioritize internet communities, quote-unquote, over real life, which is, like, disgusting to me. Now, many of you know that years and years ago, when I first started my channel, there, I experimented with having a web form, okay? And this is something that I still speak about in, in hushed tones. It's like kind of a legend in my channel because basically I started this form and it's like, okay, well, you know, we're gonna have, we're gonna be able to put messages up and uh, talk to each other about important stuff and, you know, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, and I thought, oh, that'd be a good thing. But what I found is there, it naturally attracts internet people, okay? And mind you, here's, here's the thing, here's the irony of it. Uh, when I look at my video comments section on YouTube, um, I cringe so much, okay? That's just, that's just life, okay? I don't know, maybe you only see the top comments, so maybe you hear the good stuff, I don't know. I just cringe so much. Whereas when I've met people who watch my videos in real life, they are always well-adjusted people, you know? So there's, there's kind of like this dissonance there like the people who are active on the internet even the people who are doing the same stuff watching the same videos there's a massive gap okay behind between the kind of stupid like immaturity that they have online or like internet people have online uh versus like the more well-adjusted people who do things in real life right and I, when i eventually eventually i close down my web form okay and this isn't about my web form this is just like kind of an example eventually uh, I, I just found the form so cringe and I saw like people were just using it as like a weird emotional crutch which, which kind of disturbs me and I know there are a lot of guys who watch my videos because I don't know they find um, uh, they find like the lifestyle like when I'm talking about my lifestyle they find that like inspiring in a way and that's fine like that's great if it's like I think it's important for people to um, broadcast what they've done in their life um, it, because it can be a good example for other people. But if you're using that in, as an emotional crutch, that is like actually totally antithetical to, to I, I guess, what I would endorse. And I just remember when I closed down that form, I even got emails from people. They were like, wow, man, you have to bring back the form. I, I just need it so much in my life and my, my emotional state is tied to it. And like, I cannot, I, I can't say anything other than that is like, if I were to stand for something, that is the exact opposite of what I stand for. Like people who are like emotionally invested in like, like everything on the internet is fake, okay? Everything on the internet is fake. Yes, the internet affects the real world a whole lot nowadays, for better or for worse, mostly for worse, frankly. Uh, you can do good things on it, but the reality is if you are mostly thinking about things that are going on on the internet, uh, thing, like news, like you know, whatever the media is putting in your face, uh, whatever, some stupid chat, like if you're the kind of person who, especially if you're one of these like emotionally unstable people, and when I say emotionally unstable, I mean the kind of person who like can be insulted and then like it'll just ruin their day, okay? If you're one of those kind of people, which I think a lot of these kind of internet people are, um, 
that's exactly what you don't want to do. Like you don't want to have like uh, you don't want to be tied into all the stuff that's going on because then you're falling for all this agit prop. You're falling for all this emotional manipulation. And when you walk out of your room, when you proverbially touch grass, as they say, you'll realize the world is very different from the internet world. Okay, like the the stuff that's put in front of your face, you suddenly realize people in real life are very very different. Okay, like the ideology that's being forced on us in the media. Uh, I mean, there are places where it exists. Like, I'm sorry, if you if you work in a university, I feel bad for you, bro. But it, in real life, that is just not something you're gonna have to to deal with, right? And so you're gonna be much you're gonna be much ca better caliber. Like, you're gonna look at things in a better lens. And most importantly, like what what I'm trying to get at is like if you're you cannot overcome internet addiction with like some kind of I, I don't know, just a better internet forum to hang out at, you know what I mean, That are with people that are more proactive. Um, you know, one thing that I've always done, like I've never, like I started putting up videos on my YouTube channel, right, you, you know, however many years ago. I've never really branded, it still just has my old, um, this is just the name of my Google account, it's just my name, like I've never tried to do anything, and of course, as everyone knows, I will put up videos up and then I will take, you know, two months of not doing anything because I, that is how I think people should use the internet. They should not use it as like a full-time, um, like they, they should just be able to put stuff out. They should be able to do stuff on it and then walk away from it. And I think that's something that I think is important to me. And I think um, I've, I've always lived by that, partially because I just get freaking tired of it. Um, and I, I think that's normal to like it, your brain, like the internet is not calibrated to the needs of your brain, okay? And if you go on the internet and get angry, that should not like that's not even a problem with you you need to like realize that oh this is because i'm putting myself in a very unnatural state uh so you can't tether yourself to it um so the solution like all these people who are like kind of emotionally tied to the internet the solution is not more internet the solution is not finding based and red-pilled friends uh on the internet because based and red-pilled people do you think they hang out on chats all day or do you think they're out there living real life you know um, there, there's just a massive difference. So anyway, that, that's what I want to say. I think a lot of people get screwed up on this kind of stuff. Um, you, you, I've already said what I need to say. I'm not going to repeat stuff. So that's the end of the video. <laughs>